I'd like to take another look at some more editing features. Um, I'd like to do here is to join some data that we have spatially, these uh, colleges that are selected, with some data that we found on the web that is uh, just in an Excel spreadsheet. So this is an, a method by which we can uh, take data externally and attach it to our, um, to our spatial data. So first off, uh, I'm going to go to the colleges that we selected that were part of the Finger Lakes region. And unfortunately, we, we can't do any editing here. So the first thing that we need to do is to, to do a save as and um, get these attributes saved in terms of a shape file. Uh, in terms of a shape file, uh, we can then uh, bring those in. Okay, so now I have Finger Lakes Colleges, and you can see that that can be an editable uh, layer. So what I'd like to do is to turn the editing on, and then go take a look at the attribute table. Now when we want to bring data from externally, we have to find something that is listed in one characteristic that is identical to what we want to match externally. So here I could look at the the names themselves. I could look at um, this is an SED code. Uh, you can see what that those numbers look like, and so on. There, so that we need unique identifiers that uh, we can use to to go between one data set and the other. So we kind of look around at everything we can find in the attribute table and kind of make a mental note. Now we want to go out and look at an Excel spreadsheet. So I uh, found some data on uh, New York colleges and uh, you can see this data uh, has many, many schools. And then if we uh, scroll across here, there's uh, quite a fair amount of data that uh, is available. So the idea is, is that there's something in this um, spreadsheet data that we'd like to attach to the data in our map. Um, when we review this, we want to find, here's a, the names of the schools. So that may be something that uh, would be uh, able institution name. So that's, that's a possibility. However, uh, perhaps the name is spelled a little differently, or there's a space, or there's there's something just a little bit wrong. So, for example, this might be uh, SUNY College at Brockport as opposed to State University uh, College at Brockport. So, the the name may be a little bit questionable. But we do notice over here that we have the SED code. So looking at the code and then comparing it back to the attribute table. We go back to the attribute table and what we find is that we do have these codes, however they've got uh, you know sort of a prefix so they're they're not quite the same. So what we need to do is to um, work with uh, this SED code in the attribute table and make a correction to it. Okay, so editing is on and we're going to create a new field. We'll call this uh, something different, SED-code. And again, it's not the name of the title that is important, it's the data within the title. So, um, we'll just look at the SED code here. And what we're going to do is truncate it to a whole number. So in this case, uh, there will be no uh, 0. .0000 at the end. That's the idea. Okay, so we've, we've generated this um, new field. It's SED-code. And you can see it's been truncated. So these are, these are integer values here. So that may work for us a little bit better. Okay, um, I'm going to close out the attribute table and we'll minimize the Excel data. 
bring our spreadsheet in first. So the, the, the spreadsheet has to be in here. Now to do that, it needs to be in the format of a CSV file. So the first thing we need to do is to do a save as here and save the Excel spreadsheet as a not an Excel workbook but as a delimited text. So that would be down here, CSV. So we've chosen that and save it and we've now got the CSV file uh, instead of an Excel spreadsheet file. Okay, so we need to load this in. So it is a layer that we'd like to add. Now it's not a vector layer or a raster layer. Those are the two we've used extensively. It's called delimited text. So the delimited text layer, um, and we need to go out and browse and find this. So that's how we found it. And what we want here, if you notice these down here in the ge uh, uh, geometry, um, we could actually have geometry that had uh, point coordinates for x and y. Uh, this particular time, though, there, and you notice if there was, there would be that we would be okay here. Um, but this is no geometry at all and now we've got the ability to get in. Now you do get a little bit of a preview to to see how the program is interpreting and it looks like uh, it's interpreting the data correctly. So we complete the join and now Okay, so we're going to perform a join here between New York Colleges and the SED code. So that's taken from our, our layer here. And we're going to join that to the target, which is the SED dash code. You can see we've got a connection up here that's uh, related. Now you can remove that if you'd like. Uh, but we can we can show that that's that's in there, so that can be suppressed or looked at. So we've applied that. Now going back in to look at the uh, properties. Um, excuse me. I want to go back and look at the attribute table. You can see the attribute table has the original data, but it also now has all of this additional data that is that is part of the um, match table and if you notice it did not bring all the rest of the very large spreadsheet in it only brought in and joined the uh, where there was a match so we've been able to to bring those now interestingly enough we've got uh, institution name here uh, and uh, L name here and they may, so this one was New York State College of Ecology at Cornell. And you see how this is, this is uh, NYS College of Human Ecology. So if we would have used uh, the name to try to join those together, uh, they wouldn't have gone because this is New York State spelled out and the other is NYS. So that gives you an idea. The, the, you have to have an exact match between the uh, characteristics that you're putting together, otherwise it's not going to work. Consequently, now all of this data is, uh, is available for us and we'll save our edits and be done.